Here's how to share a Google Calendar on your iPhone. Now, the first step is to open up the Google Calendar app here on your iPhone. If you don't necessarily have this already installed, you can download and install it in the App Store. Now I'm gonna walk you through one option to share a specific event as well as an entire calendar. So at the bottom right, let's tap on plus here and we'll tap on event. And let's say, I'm gonna just say go shopping. And on this, you can see all day, I'm gonna choose Monday, January 6th at 12 o'clock. Now, if I want to share this specific event with someone, I can just hit add guests here and it'll auto-populate with various people. I can also just search for people or manually type in their email address. I'm just gonna tap on someone and hit done. Now, okay, it says me and this other person are invited and added to this calendar event. I can go down and add a location, color, I can have a description, all sorts of different things here. And then when I'm ready, I can just hit save at the very top. Now on here, essentially that will save that calendar event so that that other person gets a notification that they've been added to that specific event. But let's say you wanted to share an entire Gmail or Google calendar. You can't do it in the app itself. You need to open up a web browser here. And in your web browser, we're gonna go to calendar.google.com and hit go. Now, once we're in the calendar on the mobile phone here on your iPhone, you can see at the very bottom is desktop. So we want to tap on desktop here to get the desktop version of your Google Calendar. You need to get the desktop version. And at the very uh, left-hand side here, you can see my calendars and there's my Gmail calendar. Now, if I want to share this, I can tap on here and it reveals those three dots. I can tap again and hit settings and sharing. Now, finally, we're in the settings here. I can scroll down here and it says share with specific people or groups. You can see here is I'm the owner. I can hit add people and groups. And again, you can start typing in anyone's name, email address here, and then you can set the permissions. Whether you want to allow them to just see the events or maybe you want them to edit them, you have con full control over how they can interact with your calendar. And just hit that send button and then it will send them an invite to essentially ask them, hey, do you want to add your, you know, this Google or Gmail calendar to your account? and they can hit yes, and then they'll pop up right here as added to your specific Google or Gmail calendar. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.